Have you ever wondered how I can calculate standard deviation inside of Google Sheets easily? In this video, we're going to show you a few different formulas that you can use to calculate your standard deviation. Okay, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to look at a few different formulas for how we can calculate standard deviation in Google Sheets, which is part of the Google Workspace platform. You can see here, we've got our data set. This is a sample data set of blood sugars. And so let's look at a few different ways we can calculate standard deviation. Like any formula, we're going to start with an equal sign. Then we're going to type in STDEV and you'll see a few different standard deviations show up right here. Now Google's really great about putting in the description what each of these formulas will do, so if you're unsure which one you should use, go ahead and look at those and be sure you're selecting the right one. To put it simply or summarize it, the one you select will either be a sample or a entire population. So you could see here that we've got the entire population if we use a P, entire population again, this one's a sample, here's the entire population, if we use this A, we're going to use a sample. Now because these are blood sugars for a diabetic, we're going to assume that this is a sample data set. And so we're going to select our A, and then we're going to highlight our data set, and we're going to hit enter, and you can see that Google Sheets does all the hard work for us, and we've got our standard deviation right here. 38.53. Now remember, if this was your entire population, you may go back and select the P for the entire population, and you'd get a different answer. So be sure that you read the description if you forget which one is a sample or an entire population and select the right one. And that's it. How to calculate standard deviation in Google Sheets. Now remember, Check the description down below for more links to great videos and solutions that ignite your power. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, like, and subscribe, and share with all your friends. And remember too, you can always calculate standard deviation the more complicated way by visiting Lean Strategies International LLC's glossary and it'll lay out the six steps that you can use if you still want to calculate it the long way. We'll see you next time right here on Lean Strategies International, LLC.